and Welcome back to the Cool Fears channel. I'm your host, Jesse the Bat Madrigal, aka the Buff Collector, and today we are going to be taking a look at the G.I. Joe Classified Series Cobra Infantry Troopers. But first, if you're new, then welcome. This channel is all about cool action figures, analyzing them, hunting them, taking pics of them, and of course, playing with them. I upload new content constantly throughout the week, so make sure you're hitting that bell icon so you stay notified when I do upload new videos. And if you guys want to support the channel in any way, all I ask is that you guys watch my videos from start to finish, as well as going ahead and hitting that like button if you're enjoying the content that you're watching. And if you haven't already, go ahead and check out those Amazon affiliate links linked down below. There you'll find all sorts of cool figures, stuff associated to toy photography, and so much more. As always, join me every Sunday morning for coffee and a weekly toy news toy talk podcast where we will go over all the latest and great toy news reveals pre-orders and so much more as always the information on this channel is intended for adult collectors and not children before we get started i do want to say thank you so much to this channel sponsor v -Rare store check them out for your funko pop anime pokemon cards and toy photography print needs and of course use code cool figures at checkout for 10 percent off your order v -Rare store check them out guys so with all of that out of the way guys we are once again going to be taking a look at the gi joe classified Cobra Infantry Troopers. Now these guys are super cool. Now the whole reason I got these guys was basically to have some somewhat basic military uh, army builders. So I recently acquired a Hazard Squad Commander Gomez and a uh, Clan of the Golden Dragon Gomez. And with the Clan of the Golden Dragon Gomez, I was able to go ahead and buy some army builder ninjas from the Foosh Toys for him to fight up against. But that left my Hazard Squad Commander Gomez kind of empty, kind of left with nobody to fight. Now, while I do enjoy G.I. Joe, I did not grow up with the G.I. Joe classic 80s TV series. I grew up with the more modernized early thousands G.I. Joe Sigma 6 series. And I do have a bunch of toys from my childhood uh, in storage from that era of G.I. Joe. So I'm, it's not that I'm not a big fan of G.I. Joe. I'm just not a fan of the 80s uh, G.I. Joe. Well, I'm, that's that's not accurate because I do enjoy and watch the 80s G.I. Joe, but I didn't grow up with it. So that's what I'm trying to get at. I don't have that nostalgic tie to it. Much like I don't have the nostalgic tie to the 1980s TMNT cartoon, uh, but I still have gone back and watched it and have enjoyed it. And same thing with the G.I. Joe series. I've gone back. I've watched episodes. Uh, if you didn't know, YouTube actually has a channel where they play G.I. Joe just 24-7, just on repeat. So that's a really cool channel. Uh, so I have gone back and seen a few episodes. But like I said, I didn't grow up with the show. So these guys weren't really a buy for that sort of a addition to my collection. You know, I don't have a specific G.I. Joe collection. I mainly got these guys so that they can fight up against my Hazard Squad Commander Gomez. And for those of you that are wondering how they pair up in terms of scale-wise to a, uh, you know, Mezco Gomez, so that maybe you guys have the same idea, because I did pick these guys up on Amazon for $22 a piece, so they are still going for retail there, so check out Amazon, just check other sellers, always check other, other sellers, guys, always. Um, they do scale really well, I've actually already done a shoot with them, uh, going up against my Hazard Squad Commander Gomez, and it came out amazing, if I don't say so myself, and and here we have them all lined up standing next to each other so you can get a general idea of the scaling between these two figures. As you can see, they scale very well together and I'm super excited to continue to use them up against this guy or even maybe on his side at some points. I don't know. We'll figure shit out as we go along. There's so much fun to be had. If you don't know, I am super into crossover picks. Uh, this one's an unintentional one. Like I said, I just wanted some basic... Uh, villain looking military guys and these guys were just the perfect ones to go and thankfully even though it's the gi joe classified line these guys were not super expensive and hard to find i was readily able to get them on amazon uh that's not to say you can do that with a lot of those gi joe classified figures you know so super lucky and super awesome that i was able to pull that off um and yeah so like i said i just mainly got these guys to have to foot talk so yeah, I mainly got these guys so I could take toy photography with them up against this guy. Uh, so as you can see, the scaling is very nice. So basically with that being said, let's go ahead and stop talking about why I purchased these figures and the whole reason you guys are here, and that's to see a review of these figures. Now these guys are really cool. They do come with a lot of accessories, and this is why I bash Hasbro in so many ways, because they recently raised their Black Series prices, and a lot of the figures that are coming on this new wave are having a lot of issues. They're lacking a lot of paint apps. Um, they decide to use a Y, 
uh, ball joint on Aurora Singh instead of a T joint. So that really hinders her movement. Um, so they're making a lot of mistakes. Uh, and even the new boss figure that they showed off is just... It's just really lazy, and so, you know, they've continued to raise the prices, though, whereas these guys were about 20 to $22, and they came with all sorts of accessories, which makes no sense because they're trying to raise Black Series prices now to $25 a piece, um, and they even lack paint apps, accessories, and stuff that they should come with, alternate heads and hands and whatnot. Not that these guys come with alternate heads and hands, but they still come with a lot more accessories than, uh, you know, Black Series figures. But the Power Rangers line, which is also under Hasbro, does come with alternate heads and hands and accessories and, you know, for about 20 to $22 as well. So I don't know what's going on with Hasbro, but they're just trying to really cash in on that Star Wars um, IP and in a very lazy way. So hopefully they change things, turn things around and, uh, you know, maybe get their head out of their ass, you know. So anyways, guys, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the accessories these guys come with. Well, not some, but all. So they do, of course, all come with these uh, I guess bucket helmets, I guess you would call them. Uh, the reason I only have one on these guys is because I'm using it to differentiate rankings between them. So as you can see, only one guy has it on. So to me, that's the commander. Whereas the other ones are just, you know, the under rankers or the people that do what he says, you know. So that's the way I'm doing it for my toy photography purposes. Um, so let's go ahead and continue to take a look at all the stuff they come with. Since this guy already has his guns pulled out, we're going to go ahead. You know what? No. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the commander right here. So like I said, they all do come with these bucket helmets, and they simply just pop off and, you know, you just set them on. And it's snug enough to where it's not going to fall off even if you shake. So it gives it a nice snug fit, but it comes off real nice and easy. They do come with this really cool knife right here, all in black plastic mold, as you can see. No real uh, paint apps or detailing besides the actual mold itself, uh, but still good. You know, especially in this line, seeing as Beachhead's guns were just all green and looks so, so plasticky and toy-y and it just looks really bad. At least with these guys, all their guns are black. He does come with a set of two handguns. One is holstered right here in his front, as you can see. They are identical when it comes to the two handguns. So we're just going to go ahead and take a look at this one right here. As you can see, once again, no paint applications, just the black mold of the plastic. And he does carry and he does carry one right here on the back of his hip. So you get two handguns with each uh, Cobra Trooper. And you do get a assault rifle right here. So... When I first unboxed this guy on my podcast, I mentioned that it was odd that they put the peg on the side that would be sticking out if he was right-handed. But as I was looking at the box, I saw that they actually hold their guns in their left hand, so that made more sense to me now. But the other thing is about this gun, it doesn't really peg into their back uh, too well. The peg hole is way too long. This one holds it a little better. I feel like one of these guys, their uh, gun keeps falling off and it's really annoying. Uh, but uh, but this one it seems to be holding on just fine. Uh, I'll try to. F I think it's this guy right here. I think his gun keeps falling out whenever he slightly drops like that. But um, other than that, like I said, going back to the assault rifle right here, it is all once again just in black plastic mold, no paint apps. But like I said, better than that god awful green nerf looking uh, beachhead weapon set. So yeah, guys, that is everything that comes with these figures so as you can see you can get all sorts of cool looks with them either with their bucket helmet on or off whether you want them to have the knife and the handgun or the two handguns out or even just the assault rifle right there so all sorts of cool looking ways and that's what i really look for in army builders guys is variation being able to change up the look of the figures even if it's just slightly just to be able to have some variation when taking toy photography and definitely these guys offer that like i said they can all come with their helmets on they can all come with their helmets off one can come with one on as the commander you know there's different ways of doing things uh you know like i said you can do you know a combination of the gun the knife the two handguns the assault rifle and even the assault rifle and the knife there are so many different ways to display these guys you know take pics of them so it's super cool and i love the detailing in the eyes, I have to admit, the detailing in the eyes of these figures are amazing. They just look so menacing. Um, so I guess with that being said, we're going to go ahead and just pull them forward and get a closer look at, you know, the paint apps, the sculpting, and everything on the body. Uh, so like I said, I absolutely love the eyes on these figures. They just look so menacing and so well done. You know, there's 
paint apps are just so well done on this. I can't stop rambling on about it. They do come with a little Cobra logo right there as well as right there, but it's unpainted. Uh, and that's what I like about these guys being army builders. They just come with this simple Cobra logo right here. Other than that, from any other angle and perspective, they do not give off a Cobra vibe. They just look like basic military uh, army builders, which is exactly what I wanted. But other than that, I absolutely love their uniforms. Sometimes military figures are just a little too much in their uniforms and whatnot, but this one is actually really well done. I like the way it looks with the knife up here, uh, the handgun you know, up here, and of course back here on the hip. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take his helmet off so you can take a closer look at the hood underneath. It is very nicely done, very nice textures to it. Um, especially the face mask right here. I like how it looks like it's a metal piece and not just fabric. It looks really nicely done, especially the difference between the blue and the black right here. It just adds some really nice stuff to it. I feel like these are some of the better figures in this line, um, although these are some of the only figures I've seen uh, or reviewed, you know, so I can't be too biased on that. But I have seen some in stores and in hand, and they have looked good, but I feel like the eyes on these ones just amazing just so lifelike especially for a 22 dollars figure is just out of the park on this one hasbro so despite all my bitching and complaining earlier brett about hasbro they definitely did a great job on these figures so with that being said guys let's go ahead and take a look at this guy's articulation he can look all the way to the right all the way to the left he does have a hinge joint so that he can look that far down and he can look that far up a little bit of head tilt and swivel right there his arms do go all the way out, 360 rotation at the shoulder. You do get a slight butterfly joint, and I prefer these slight butterfly joints to the bigger, more elaborate ones because they seem to make the body look really weird and whatnot, whereas these minor ones, these minimal ones, they give you the kind of articulation you need to bring the arm in, but they don't you know, throw the body off too much. You do get rotation at the top of the bicep right there, double hinge elbow, rotation at the wrist. Um, let me see, is it... Yep, up and down ball hinge right there. Pretty sure this one's in and out since, you know, he's left-handed. So, yeah, his right-handed is in and out. His left-handed is up and down since that's the true trigger finger hand. He does have rotation at the waist right there. He can join the cheerleading squad. Look at that. He does, whoops, sorry, guys. He does have a thigh cut right there at the top, which allows for 360 rotation. He can kick out that far. Kick back that far. Double hinge knees. Allows him to basically kick his own ass. Looking at the last point of articulation, which is always the ankles. Looking down. Looking up. And of course, ball rocker hinge joint right there. So all in all, guys, these are great army builders. If you're looking for some military uh, bad guy army builders. Or if you guys are just fans of the G.I. Joe classified line, I definitely would recommend picking these guys up. They are definitely really cool to have. And as you can see, when you get a few of them together, they definitely set up a whole scene. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at some really cool picks that I took of these guys, and we'll be right back. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. If you enjoyed those pics, you can find the full images over on Instagram at CoolFigures. And I do have a separate Instagram account for my more thought out, planned out, more edited pics called Epic Shots by Cool Figures. Check it out. If you like what you see, leave me a follow there as well. Now, if you guys want to see the unboxing of this figure or any other toys I do reviews on for this channel, check me out on TikTok at Cool Figures. Because when I get a new toy, guys, I am like a child and I cannot wait to rip it open. So I don't wait to set up my YouTube studio. No, I just film it on my phone and upload it to TikTok real quick. So check me out. 
at Cool Figures. And join me every Sunday morning for Coffee and Toys, a weekly Toy News Toy Talk podcast where we will go over all the latest and great releases, pre-orders, reviews, and so much more. As always, thank you so much to this channel sponsor, VRA Store. Check them out for all your Funko Pop, anime, Pokemon card, and toy photography print needs. And of course, use code Cool Figures at checkout for 10% off your order. VRA Store, check them out, guys. So with that being said, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. But whether or not you're a subscriber, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to listen to me talk about toys. I really do appreciate it. As always, I'm your host, Jesse the Bat Magical, aka the Buff Collector. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.